good morning students in this coordinate geometry fourth part we will discuss two special cases of the distance formula as we know to calculate the distance between any two points in the coordinate plane we have derived a formula in the third part now suppose there are two points a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 in the coordinate plane now you want to find the distance between these two what is the formula that you have to make use of exactly we have to use the distance formula to calculate the distance between any two points in the coordinate plane which states that the distance between two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 is square root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square that is first you have to find the differences of the coordinates that is difference of two x coordinates and difference of two y coordinates square the differences add the two differences and you have to find the square root of the sum obtained so now in this class we will discuss two special cases of this distance formula in the first case suppose there are three points a b and c and now you have to calculate the distance of these three points from the origin what is so special about this case here one of the two points for which you have to find the distance is the origin what are the coordinates of the origin very good zero and zero that is the speciality of this case so in this case you have to find the distance of two points out of which one point is the origin now suppose you have a horse placed at the origin and it has seen grass at a point a whose coordinates are a and b now this horse is so angry so hungry and it wants to graze the grass so it has to move from the origin to that place what is the distance that is had is it has to travel from the origin to that place that is what you have to calculate so we have to make use of the distance formula and you have to find the distance that the horse has to travel from the origin to the point a whose coordinates are a and b now we have to find the distance between the two points origin which is usually called as o and point a whose coordinates are a and b now here we'll take origin as the first coord first point so their coordinates 0 0 are taken as x1 and y1 and the second point a is taken as x2 and y2 so x2 is a and y2 is b now what is the formula that we will use to find the distance between them very good root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square now let us substitute the values of x1 y1 and x2 y2 in this equation then you will have square root of a minus 0 whole square plus b minus 0 whole square because x2 is a x1 is 0 so a minus 0 whole square similarly it is b minus 0 whole square as we know what is a minus 0 exactly it is a because suppose you subtract 0 from 3 you will have 3 only 3 minus 0 is 3 5 minus 0 is 5 similarly a minus 0 is a in that way you will have a square plus again b minus 0 whole square is again b square so this is the value of the distance between the points origin and a so to calculate the distance between a point from the origin you need not use the for, use the formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square but instead of using that you can simply use the formula square root of a square plus b square where a and b are the coordinates of the point now we'll have some more examples on this suppose there is a there are three points a b and c coordinates of a are a b b are p q and c are m n now you want to calculate the distance of these points from the origin now first you have to calculate o a as we discussed here the distance of a point a b from the origin is square root of a square plus b square now you want to calculate the distance of the point p q from the origin how much is the distance now very good it is square root of p square plus q square similarly the distance of the point mn from the origin is what is the distance 
exactly very good so it is square root of m square plus n square so it's so simple that's why it's a special case of the distance formula to calculate the distance of a point from the origin it's very simple you just square the coordinates of the point add the two of coordinates and take the square roots it's as simple as that suppose you want to calculate the distance of k and l from the origin it is square root of k square plus l square so simple now we'll use some numerical values to find the distance find the distance between the point p 3 minus 2 from the origin again as we discussed what is the formula you have to make use of square root of a square plus b square now here a is 3 x coordinate and b is minus 2 now as you know you will have the formula here now this is square root of in place of small a you have to write 3 so this is 3 square and in place of small b you have to write negative 2 this minus 2 whole square as you know 3 square is 9 and minus 2 whole square is 4 this is 9 plus 4 and square root of 13 units so it's very simple to calculate the distance of a point from the origin just find the squares of the coordinates add them and take its square root so this is the first special case of finding of using the distance formula now we'll move on to the second case which is also very interesting to calculate the distance of a point on x axis to a distance of a point on the y axis so when the two points are on the coordinate axis that is one point on the x axis and the other point on the y axis what is so special in this when do we say that a point is on x axis very good its y coordinate is 0 and a point is said to be on the y axis when its x coordinate is 0 so after these two points you have one of the coordinates as 0 for both so for one point its x coordinate is 0 and from another point its y coordinate is 0 suppose you have a duck placed at a point A and that point is on the y axis. So as you know if a point is on the y axis its x coordinate should be 0. So the coordinates are 0 and B. Now you have to remember one thing this point is B units away from the origin. Right? Then it has to it wants to reach to its duckling which is its child and, the, and this duckling is at a point B and this point is on the x axis. As we know, a point is on the x-axis when its y-coordinate is 0, so it will have only x-coordinate. So the points, are, the coordinates of this point are a and 0, and this point b is a units away from 0. If the point is 4, 0, it is 4 units away from the origin. If the point is 10, 0, it is 10 units away from the origin. Similarly, the point a0 is a units away from the origin. Now this duck tries to reach its duckling and now we have to find the distance that the duck has traveled to reach the duckling that is what you are going to find now and there is one more thing just I will explain to you what is the distance of the or from the origin to that point B it is A units and this A is called the X intercept so when a point is on the X axis the distance of that point from the origin is called X intercept similarly the point a which is ob what is the distance of this point from the origin exactly it is b so this point the this value b is called the y intercept so these are two intercepts we have to keep in your mind when two points uh, for which you have to find the distance are on the coordinate axis yes you have to keep in mind the x intercept and y intercept that is what you have to remember to calculate the distance. Now let us find or let us derive the formula to find the distance between these two. Just as we have done in the previous case, we will take both the coordinates. If you take the point A, O, B, 0, B as the first point, then X1 is 0 and Y1 is B. Now when you take this point B as second point, then X2 is A and Y2 is 0. Now as usual, we will use the formula square root of X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. In this case, x2 minus x1 is a minus 0 and y2 minus y1 is 0 minus b. So you will have a minus 0 whole square plus 0 minus b whole square. Just yes, we have seen in the previous case 
a minus 0 is a, so this is a square. 0 minus b is minus b. And again, when you square the negative value, you will again get positive. So minus b whole square is also b square only. So you will again have square root of a square plus b square. So is it not surprising? In the previous case also, we have got the same value. And in this case also, you got the same formula, which is square root of a square plus b square. So when you want to calculate the distance between two points, and these points are on the coordinate axis, that is, one point on the x-axis and the other point on the y-axis, what you have to do is, just you have to square their intercepts. What is the x-intercept and what is the y-intercept? You square them, find the sum, then, then you have to take the square root. So simple as that. We will take some more examples. Suppose you have two points here, A and B. The coordinates of A are 0 and N because it is on the y-axis. And the coordinates of B are M0. And you have to find the distance between A and B. What is the x-intercept here? M. Very good. What is the y-intercept? N. Now you have to find the distance between these two. What is the formula you have to make use of? Exactly. Square root of M square plus N square. Now we'll take some more points. Suppose you have two points. C is on x-axis and the coordinates are J0. And D is on y-axis and the coordinates are 0, K. What is the x co x intercept here? Exactly, z. And what is the y intercept? K. So the formula for finding the distance is square root of j square plus k square. Suppose you have two points 0, c and d0, then the distance is square root of c square plus d square. As simple as that. Now we'll take some numerical values to calculate the distance. Suppose you want to find the distance between P40 and Q05 and as we know the distance is square root of A square plus B square. Now we'll write the values here. A is the X core X intercept which is 4 and B is the Y intercept which is 5. So the value is square root of 4 square plus 5 square. That's all. It's so simple as that. So what is 4 square? It is 16 and what is 5 square? It is 25. Now when you add these two you will have square root of 41. So when you have a point on the x-axis and a point on the y-axis, you just square the x-intercept and then square the y-intercept, add the two intercept squares, then you have to take the square root. So like this you can find the distance between any two points when the points are on the coordinate axis. Now this is assignment for today. In the first case, you have to find the distance between these three points on the origin. That is the first special case. And you have to find the distance between these two, when by which, are, which is using the second case. Right? So you solve these two, problem, these two problems and you send the solutions to me. I hope you understood this. So in, when you have two points, when one and out of which one point is on, is on the x-axis and the other point is on the y-axis, you need not make use of the distance formula as a whole. You can simply use square root of a square plus b square. And when you have to calculate the distance between origin to another point, again, you need not use a simple whole formula. You can take just the squares of the values of these coordinates of the point, add them, then you find the square root. So it's as simple as that. You find the values by using these formulas and send to me. Thank you.